Hello, everybody. Welcome to your talk to you for headlines on this Thursday, September 28th, 2023. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Hope you're having a great day. Glad you're with us here for your TF headlines. Thursday already. It's a quick week. Let's get started uh, with an update from the Fitchburg Police Department on the South Sain Road fatality crash that took uh, place earlier this summer. We got an update here and it says due to the significant public interest and requests from additional information related to the January 3rd South Syene Road fatality crash, the Fitchburg Police Department has prepared the following investigation summary. Uh, this uh, was a review of the State Patrol's report and other components of the investigation conducted by the Fitchburg Police Department. It was determined that the crash was reported around 6.38 a.m. Conditions included darkness, light rain, and a wet road uh, with temperatures around 30 degrees. A pedestrian was crossing South Sain Road mid-block just north of uh, Agris Lane walking two dogs. She was wearing dark clothing, no reflective elements or accessories. The vehicle, a 2006 Chevy uh, Chevrolet Impala driven by 24-year-old Fitchburg man, was driving southbound on South Sain Road where the speed limit was posted at 35 miles an hour. The driver struck the pedestrian and two dogs while they were in the roadway attempting to cross South Sain Road. Based on the forensic examination of the driver's cell phone, there's no evidence to indicate the driver was using the phone before the time of the crash. The driver was on his way home from work and showed no signs of impairment. And uh, an examination of electronic data revealed that the vehicle indicated the driver was traveling at 58 miles per hour five seconds before impact. Final report and findings were routed to Dane County District Attorney's Office for review at the end of June following a review of the stakeholder meeting, the district attorney's office determined criminal charges would not be filed in this incident. Based on the investigation, the driver was issued a municipal citation for speeding in late August with a court date in September. Uh, and it says over the several years, the area adjacent to South Sain Road has experienced a significant increase in residential development. In response, residents' concerns and changes in the surrounding area, the speed limit portion of South Sain Road was lowered from 45 miles down 30, 45 miles per hour to 35 miles per hour in 2020. You can check out the full uh, other uh, components of the report. It's up online at our website at fitchburgwi.gov. Turning our attention to budget presentations coming up next week. The mayor's proposed 2024 operating budget is available now, and next week departments will be presenting on it. They'll be doing it in two nights. The Finance Committee presentation day one will be at 6 p.m. on Tuesday, October 3rd, and then day two will be at 6 p.m. Wednesday, October 4th. The mayor's proposed operating budget is available on the website for viewing. To access the budget, visit our website, fitchburgwi.gov. And to catch coverage of the department's presentations of their budgets, you can tune in right here to FACT TV on our Gov channel. F1. Fitchburg Historical Society Fall Meeting is scheduled for Sunday, October 15th at 1.30 p.m. And they will be celebrating the Swan Creek Sewing Circle, recognizing 100 years of neighborly lists. I, I still can't say that word, no matter what I do. And the fall program highlights one of the area's oldest organizations, the Swan Creek Sewing Circle, founded back in 1915 with the purpose of neighborly lists. It is provided a way to connect a group of rural women at a time when travel and communication options were limited. Four generations of women have continued the circle's tradition and survived the challenges that COVID restrictions and precautions had imposed. And we will be recording it and rebroadcasting it here on Fact TV if you can't make it. And turning our attention to the Fitchburg Public Library for a fundamental Friday. Check this out. It's Friday, October 27th. Bring your preschooler and developmentally appropriate activities that focus on letters, numbers, colors and shapes, recognition, sort and match, re repetition, sequencing, gross and fine motor skills, and so much more. Starts at 11 a.m., goes till 12 p.m. at the Fitchburg Public Library. And uh, we also have an event coming Coming up at the Senior Center, it's called Lightning Inspirational Program, What You Might Not Know About Bullying. Award-winning author uh, and speaker will be in on October 26th at 10.30 a.m. We can learn about this important topic. Bev Davis, the officer of, author of four books, will be uh, talking about uh, her book and a lot more. Come on down. No registration. And have a great day, everyone.